This is the Lord of Sin. This is episode 5 of Star Traders RPG Elite. I um, I did mention in, in the uh, Cyber Knights Elite to episode 4 how I had found out that uh, I had been recording with uh, the power saving feature on my phone on, which kind of limited the um, CPU processes, so I've readjusted that as well. There was one other point that I was going to make, and honestly, as soon as I started talking about it, I forgot about it, but let's get into the game regardless. So here we are currently in the game. The cats have calmed down since the other video, so hopefully we should be okay there. I'm going to try to keep this to about a 10 minute uh, uh, start, just because of the way that uh, somebody had mentioned this to me last time. Uh, let's see where we left off before. We are good. Let's just go ahead and make sure that uh, we get our training done. We've got a little bit of experience here. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, I tried to always go back down initially and, and start building these up. These are looking pretty good, in fact. Um, to get more intimidation, let's do one more stealth. Tactics. Negotiate. And... I think that's going to be okay right there. Yeah, let's go strength for warrior. That way we can... It is very, very important. So we're going to go back out of here. Alright. I think where we left off last time is we were doing the, uh, the urban thing. We were back into Voltos Prime. I remember, I remember we left off there. We were all set up as far as the ship is concerned. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exchange. We are currently holding 19 uh, water fuel, so we're good there. As a matter of fact, I think we def we did leave off really, really well all the way around. Let's go to the Spice Hall, and let's take a contract from there. We have 73,000, which is really, really good. At a full crew reserve. Let's go ahead and go to contracts. This is a simple delivery cargo contract. Let's go ahead and back out here, and let's go ahead and go to our destination. Now, in this one, I don't remember that there is any way... Uh, let's see, what are these? These are Atmos for Devaltos. We're going to acknowledge, and that's it. That's done there. I think, I cannot remember if there's a fast... If there's a way to turn out the animated... You really don't want to, but, it, you know, I figured it'd be worthwhile to do it. Let's see here. Oh, I don't think I've ever used that. Let's go there. Let's do that. I guess not. Alright, so that's fine. And that's going to put us really quickly here. We're going to go here to do what we've got to do, and we're going to explore. Attempt our job. We've made note of a new rumor of event, and we've completed that job. Of course, you're going to tell me you don't like working against the independents. Absolutely understand that. Where did I put Devalto's Prime? Pretty sure that's it right there. So, I mean, it's just, it, it really just does depend. Oh, this is House of the Loon. My bad. Oopsie, I went to the wrong place. We are currently here, and we need to go to, is that, yeah, that's where we need to go. My bad, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's get out of here before the, the, the House of the Loon decides to send people after us. All right, so we're back here at Devalto's Prime. And I don't understand who's hitting the wrong button. Let's go to the exchange. And let's get more water fuel, which I forgot to get earlier. There's 17. Let's go all the way up to 20. Complete our transaction. We're good to go otherwise. We have nothing else in the hole, which is the far right uh, column. Let's go back to the spice hall here. And grab another contract. Let's see here. Deliver this to the star dock. Sounds good to me. As soon as we come back to Devaltos Prime, we are going to, um, ooh, there's a Steel Song clan. Let's see here. We are wanted ca criminals and outcasts to all clans. To all clans. Well, wow, that's, uh, that's great. That's just peachy. That's peachy. I'm just going to ignore him. See if he'll go away. He's a small ship. He's going to leave me alone probably anyway. Kills crew, damages ship, the hazards of space. Gonna go to the star dock. Attempt our job. Contract completed. I know you don't want like working against the independence. We're going to do a solar repair. We're doing pretty good as far as money is concerned. I'm not gonna buy another ship just yet. 
And before I take off here, we're going to grab and make sure we're fully outfitted there. Ooh, all right, not good. And let's go back to our home world here. Crack course plotted, and we're gonna go back. All right, oh, you know what? It didn't go. There we go. So I uh, actually screwed up a little bit. I had set the timer that I have uh, for 10 minutes and I started it and apparently just stopped it repeatedly, you know, as soon as I hit start. So, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, excuse me. Um, so this is going to be a little longer than 10 minutes. Let's do another solar repair since we obviously hit a bunch of stuff. And we're going to go back out. We're going to go to the palace and we're going to get a promotion since I want to buy the new, a new rank and we're going to look at our hall of records and record our exploits level five buying and selling and capturing additional ships that really happened very very fast so I did not even see that but let's look at the captain score 27 encounters in space with the captains of that eight turned hostile you've won eight and lost zero 12 contracts we've completed one and failed one uh, zero terrible mutinies on board. Three total ships uh, in victory. We've constricted seven crew. Uh, crew legally signed on with another captain, and on occasion, seven occasions, stolen goods from a fellow star trader. In the eight years of your long career, you've already owned one different space vessel. Matter of fact, I'm thinking we're going to probably buy another one today just to see how they all look. But you can look through here and see what some of these are and how to actually unlock them. You know, that one gets, uh, uh, it shows that my other captains have already unlocked some of these as well, as you can see. Um, let's see, this is the one I think we got right here today, was a Let's Player received this award for reaching level 5 without buying, selling, or capturing any additional ships, which is pretty good, And but it needs to be, in order to unlock an additional ship, we need to do that on demanding difficulty. But it's a good thing to have it there, you know, just so you can see it. Um, and I've obviously done that with another trader as well. Let's see here. And these are all just different ships that you can get. Um, but let's go ahead and see what rumors we can. Breaches out. There's been a merchant fleet in deep space exploiting a local populace. Let's buy that one. And go to the next one. Recent shortage of metals on Munatai. Moonity settlement. Let's buy that one. Since they're really short on it, let's go ahead and, and uh, let's get some for them. So we're going to go back here. We're going to go back to the exchange. We're going to buy some water fuel, which is probably good right there. And I think I'm not going to buy the ship just yet, but I figured I'd try to do this anyway. Buy metals. We make some pretty decent money here. Now we just need to find the Moonity settle settlement. All right, now it's just a matter of finding which one it is. Let's see here. Do new. There's so many planets that are available in the in the uh, elite version versus the um, regular version itself, <clears throat> and that's a big giant portion. I mean, you can play the the free version, and I recommend you play the free version to try it out because you'll never know otherwise. But there's a massive difference as far as number of ships, the number of planets, uh, basically how big your universe is going to be, or that this galaxy, pardon me, is going to be by playing it in either the free mode or the, or the uh, elite version. But playing the free version also gives you the opportunity to try the game out and then go from there as far as trying to figure out how you want to, it's gonna be in Java. How am I not seeing this? Oh, it's in Steel Song Plan. No. I probably passed it up, and you guys are probably laughing at me right now. Community. Um, that's interesting. I think I may have misplaced it somehow. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back here. Let's go back here, and let's go to our status. We don't have a current contract going. I think, it, is it in that one? <clears throat> no, it's not. It's in 
Oh, let's just go ahead and look at officers. No, that's not it either. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. It's been a while since I've done this. Here we go. Go to rumors. That's the quickest way I can think of. All right. Actually, we're going to plot the plot it right like that. That works just as well. I actually like the fact that that's like that. Okay, this is pretty far away, I think. And uh, just because I want to beat the, the marker here, this will be the last mission that we're going to do. Deep Space Contact with House Thuloon. And at every, as a pirate shuttle, we're operating for House Thuloon. They detected we have valuable goods. It's a pirate shuttle, and you know what? We're going to take them on, because I don't like pirates. And I think we just blew them up. We just did blow them up. So you know what? We're going to... Um, I don't think we have the space for it, but we're going to take all. Whatever we can there. We're going to enslave them. And I think that's going to be... We're just going to leave the ship. The other ship is not that good. Smaller than our ship is. Alright, go to status. Go to back. Go to back. And we're just going to continue on. Just like nothing happened. Nothing to see here. Oh, Kadar Syndicate. Uh, let's see. I'm a well-known criminal on these planets, and there's several bounties out for me and my members of my crew. Now, this one is an Atmos shuttle. We're just going to ignore them and move on. This is the Independence, really. All right. Under the shadow of mass murder accusations, this ship, its crew, and the captain are wanted criminals now cast all clans. We are not going to mess with them. We're just going to acknowledge them, and we're going to move forward. Oh, yeah, we did lose one crew member earlier. And I believe we are at our destination. I believe we are indeed at our destination. Okay, so we're going to go here. I'm going to go to the exchange. And we are going to sell off. Wow, look at those minerals, buddy. Okay, we're going to sell off all these minerals. 14 minerals at 3,870 cre credits each. Bumped us up considerably. We went into the shortage, so morale increased. Yay, we helped them out. Yay. All right, we're going to get rid of one of these here. And I think you hear my dog having a dream in the background, so I'm sorry about that. Bruiser, it's okay. Bruiser. It's okay, buddy. Come on, wake up. All right, go back out here. All right. And let's get rid of the clothing, too. So might as well just dump all the stuff we have. Electronics. Uh, we'll, sell, we'll sell those as well. And we're going to buy some water fuel to go back up to 20. Especially when you're starting out. As we still somewhat are, it does not hurt whatsoever to, to do that. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and go into the spice. We're at, we still have a fanatical crew regard. We're going to recruit one person, and we can't buy any rounds of spice because apparently the independents don't care for us either. Oh, before I do that, let's go ahead and check out the star dock, get our solar repair done. And let's see here. Um military base and get our guns refilled and get our armor repaired still down to like 119 let's go back here let's see what they have here as far as other ships are concerned out of pocket with the trading will do 53 I've got more than enough there out of the bankroll this one has 55 crew 70 hold much better hull not nearly as good in armor. Uh, the Galtac space truck. Better sails. Again, better crew. Better hold. Much better hold. Almost, almost twice the amount of the hold. Slightly less guns. But it is very slow and has low agility. So I think we're going to stay with what we've got here. Let's look at the other ships that we have available to us. Knife runner. Um, wow, a lot of these are pretty expensive here. Stacks runner. Let's take a look at the stacks runner. Oh, the stacks runner looks pretty much like ours. Has slightly less hull than we than we have. A little, tiny bit less armor. Uh, less engines. <clears throat> better sails though, and a slightly better hold. And the big things that I always look for are 
obviously for the armor, the engines, the sails, the crew, and the hold. Everything else is kind of inconsequential in that regard. Even though this ship is much faster, apparently, I don't know how that is, but it's fast. Oh, because of the sails, I think. Solar sails actually give it a little bit better speed. All right, so we're going to end up at this. This is the going to be the end right here. We're not going to purchase another ship. Meanwhile, we are actually going to go back here and hold on. All right, so that's the end of this episode. Again, this has been the Lord of Sin. Thank you very, very much for your patience. And thank you very much for your support. If you've liked the way that this uh, these Let's Plays have gone, and you enjoy the you know how we I've been running them and uh, and how long they've been running for, don't hesitate to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, and share. Uh, I do this because I enjoy playing these games and I enjoy showing these games off. Um, and I really I thank you very very much for your support, continued support no less. I will see you guys next time for another Let's Play. This has been the Lord of Sin. Have a great day gaming.